Hi, and welcome to The Learning Zone. This is Mr. B. In this video, I will explain how to write equations for double replacement reactions. In a double replacement reaction, reactants will exchange ions or elements to form products. At least one of the products will either separate from the reaction mixture, usually in the form of a solid or a gas, or will form a stable covalent compound. Most double replacement reactions will follow the same general equation where compound AB reacts with compound CD to form the products compound AD and compound CB. Double replacement reactions that lead to the formation of a solid product are called precipitation reactions. Consider the following example where we're asked to write the balanced chemical equation, the ionic equation, and the net ionic equation for the reaction between aqueous aluminum chloride and aqueous sodium carbonate. To write the equation for the reaction, we may follow the general equation. Or on the reactant side, we write the following. Aqueous, AlCl3, and aqueous, Na2CO3. On the product side, the aluminum now combines with the carbonate, and the sodium now combines with the chloride to yield the following formulas, where we write the formula for aluminum carbonate and the formula for sodium chloride. If a double replacement reaction is indeed spontaneous, one of the products must be insoluble in water. To determine which product will be insoluble, we should consult the solubility table, where on the solubility table, the combination of species that lead to an insoluble compound are written on the right side, and the combination of species that lead to the formation of a soluble compound are written on the left side. Clearly, most carbonate compounds are insoluble, except compounds containing group 1 ions or ammonium. In this case, the aluminum carbonate will definitely be an insoluble compound, and the reaction will proceed to the right. The next step is to balance the equation, where to balance the equation, we place a 2 in front of aluminum chloride a 3 in front of sodium carbonate, a 1 in front of aluminum carbonate, and a 6 in front of sodium chloride. Now that we have a balanced equation, it is possible to write the ionic equation. When writing an ionic equation, we simply separate the soluble compounds. So we write 2Al3 plus plus 6 Cl minus plus 6 Na plus plus 3 carbonate anions to yield the compound aluminum carbonate plus 6 sodium cations plus 6 chloride anions. The final step is to write the net ionic equation by eliminating the spectator ions. Spectator ions are those ions that appear on both sides of the arrow. And in this case, sodium and chloride both appear on the reactant side and the product side and may be eliminated. The net ionic equation for the process will be 2Al3 plus plus 3 carbonate anions to yield the insoluble compound aluminum carbonate. When an Arrhenius acid reacts with an Arrhenius base, a salt and water will be produced. This is also a double replacement reaction. Consider the following, where hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium hydroxide to produce the salt, calcium chloride, and molecular water. During the reaction between an Arrhenius acid and an Arrhenius base, a salt and water will always be produced. Let's balance the equation. We'll replace a coefficient of 2 in front of HCl, a 1 in front of calcium hydroxide, 
a one in front of calcium chloride and a two in front of the liquid water. Now we may write the ionic equation where we will write 2H plus plus 2CO minus plus 1CA2 plus plus 2 hydroxide anions to yield CA2 plus plus 2Cl minus plus 2 moles of molecular water. In this case, the spectator ions will be the calcium and the chloride. This will yield the following result, where we have 2H plus plus 2OH minus to yield 2 moles of H2O. In a net ionic equation, the lowest possible ratio should always be used. So this equation may be reduced to the following. H plus plus OH minus will yield. H2O. This represents the proper net ionic equation between the acid HCl and the base calcium hydroxide. However, this will also represent the net ionic equation for a reaction between any Arrhenius acid and any Arrhenius base. This concludes my explanation of how to write equations for double replacement reactions. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.